Hello everyone and thank you for taking the time to watch this video and improve on your cable TV troubleshooting. This video was made possible by EJ from StationaryEngineer.com. Sit back and enjoy the show. Most of the issues we are experiencing in the guest rooms are inherent to the old style Philips TVs. We are undergoing a gradual replacement of these antiquated TVs with the more compatible LG TVs. However there are other issues which must be investigated to make sure that the signal going into the room is at the most optimal level possible. Preventing a good signal are things such as coax connectors not crimped correctly, kinked or damaged cable, or old style R59 cable which must be replaced, and also the taps which reside behind the wall plate which could be bad or are of an inappropriate value. All these things must be checked prior to replacing the TV. Measurements We must be familiar with these types of measurements. RF power levels, such as dB per millivolt, MER, or modulation error ratio, BR, or bit error rates, both pre and post, ingress, which is when either the cable TV signal is leaking out of the cable or is getting interference from other sources such as cell phones or other RF sources. And DOCSIS, not used in the hotel but should be known, only used for cable modem signals. MER Modulation error ratio in digital systems is similar to S-N or C-N used in analog systems. MER determines how much margin the system has before failure. Analog systems that have a poor C-N show up as a snowy picture. A poor MER is not noticeable on the picture right up to the point of system failure, which is called the cliff effect. In digital signals we cannot use the TV as a piece of test equipment anymore. This is a chart depicting a digital signal cliff effect. Notice that in the analog mode the signal degrades at a gradual rate. Now, look at the digital signal which as stated before, will carry the signal quality up to the point where the signal is too degraded to carry the information necessary to maintain a picture. What is a good MER? A 64 qm signal requires better than 23 decibels MER at the wall to operate. To allow for system degradation a margin of at least 3 or 4 decibels is preferred, 27 to 34 decibels MER is considered good. Typical meter pass fail level is 28 decibels MER. A 256 qm requires better than 28 decibels MER at the wall to operate. To allow for degradation a margin of at least 3 decibels is preferred, 31 to 34 dB MER is considered good. Typical meter pass fail level is 32 decibels MER. A 1024 qm signal requires better than 33 decibels MER at the wall to operate. To allow for degradation a margin of at least 3 decibels is preferred, 36 to 40 dB is considered good. Typical meter pass fail level may be 37 decibels MER. BR If EC is the system's ability to repair the signal. Put simply, the system transmits additional bits along with the data. The receiving device compares the signal to the additional data and makes the necessary corrections. Real-time applications use of FEC is limited. As data is transmitted, some of the bits may not be received correctly. Impact on the signal increases as number of incorrect bits increases need to know how much margin the signal has before failure. The harder FEC is working the closer the system is to the cliff.
Here is an example of a scientific notation of pre and post BER. When testing BER we must allow enough time for the test to complete. Once again, let's look at the pre and post BER at the bottom of the screen. Notice how the pre and post BER measurements evolve. What is good BER? In many meters 9 billionth is the best reading you will see, in some meters, 10 billionth could also be measured. When you're a post FEC, BER reading moves off this best measurement, your system has more errors than it can fix. Typically once the pre FEC, BER reading gets to 7 billionth you are pushing the limits. In many drop situations both pre and post will be impacted. Ingress. Leakage is the CATV signal leaking out off the coaxial cable. Ingress is the other signals getting onto the cable, to a radios, off-air FM, electrical noise, etc. As much as 80% to 90% of noise and ingress in the system is generated in rooms and other endpoints drug out the hotel. We'll notice the picture difference between a signal degradation of an analog signal on top and the digital signal on the bottom. As pointed out on the bottom constellation and measurement, the post BER will try to repair the signal up to a point when there is too much degradation and the digital signal will drop. As opposed to the analog signal, which will gradually diminish the picture quality. Proidium is a digital content protection system tailored for the hospitality industry. It allows a central decoder in a hotel to decrypt video from a head-end or satellite feed and re-encode it for secure delivery to TV sets in each room. The Proidium digital technology platform was developed to provide hospitality and healthcare markets with a robust, highly secure digital rights management DRM, system. DRM ensures a rapid, broad deployment of high-definition television, HD TV, and other high-value digital content to hotels and healthcare facilities. The development effort began eight years ago when LG Electronics, a global technology leader and top-tier supplier of flat panel displays, identified that the widespread deployment of LCD and plasma displays would be highly dependent on the ability for commercial installations to deliver high-value digital content. In a hotel, or other commercial installation, a cable or satellite signal will be decoded by its standard method, and then transcripted with the Proidium encryption with specialized equipment from LG, Technicolor, Blonder Tongue, Video Propulsion or others that make this equipment. The HD video signal sent to the hotel rooms are encrypted, and must be decrypted by a Proidium TV or Proidium set-top box from NCO. Technical Advantages The Proidium specification is an open standard controlled by hospitality slash healthcare industry stakeholders. Embedded approach provides more security and virtually eliminates the possibility for guests to tamper with or remove needed components. The system does not require pairing of the DRM system with a television or activation from a remote host, which vastly simplifies maintenance and installation. This is the Proidium head end rack, located in the penthouse. If there is an issue with the signal to the hotel which encompasses more than one room, the rack can be remotely rebooted by World Cinema.
This is a picture of a RF distribution amplifier. The amplifiers are located throughout the hotel and are critically balanced to distribute the television signal. The amplifiers should not be adjusted by the engineering staff, as an incorrect setting could disrupt the signal at different parts of the spectrum throughout the building. The new toy made available to us by Michael Stolger. The Senker meter is a sophisticated meter which is able to help us in dealing with issues with the hotel's digital cable television system. Let's look at the picture and get familiar with the layout of the meter. We will be using just a few of the features of this meter. A point to note, in order to measure TV signal we must connect the coaxial cable to the RF port of the meter, not the CM port. In order to turn the meter on, you must push the red power button. The unit will go through a boot sequence and hardware check, then will start in the default screen. When the home screen appears, press the measure button to scroll through the various measure screens. At the home screen, you can see the various data such as the band plan, the RF channel, the RF frequency, the digital modulation type, the RF power, and the voltage present in the cable. This is the constellation screen which was mentioned in the familiarization of the MER and BR. This is the BR screen. As you can see the pre-BER error count and the post-BER error count. As mentioned before, the errors are expressed in a logarithmic scale. This is the MER screen. The areas we should pay attention to are the quality, which will, after a few seconds show a pass or fail. And the MER ratio in dB which on this screen shows us a minimum number to maintain a good signal. At the home screen we need to make sure that the band plan is set to OMCC. Then we can scroll through the channels via the left or right arrow buttons on the meter keypad to check the signal of the channel in question. As we scroll through the channels we will see the power level, the QAM and the volts AC, if present in the line. Checking the guest rooms. Engineers need to have available the channel lineup which has the logical and the RF channels. When checking a particular channel, you need to cross-reference with the RF channel, otherwise you will not know which channels you are checking. This is the logical and RF channels list. As you can see in the columns the description of the logical channel, the name of the channel, and the RF channel. The RF channel is the one you will measure. So, to recap, in order to verify that the signal to a particular channel is good, we need to make sure that the meter is in the home screen. Scroll through to the channel in question by using the channel lineup list. Check to see that the power level is no less than negative 5 decibels. At the MER screen, the MER should be greater than 36 decibels. Also the quality has passed the error check. At the BER screen the pre and post errors are less than 1 in 9 billionth. Having done the following if there are still problems with the signal it most likely points to the TV, if it's a Philips replace with a new LED LG. Now that we have gone through the very basic operation of the Senker meter, I would encourage you to further your knowledge in the CATV distribution in RF engineering so that you can be effective in your troubleshooting skills. 
I have included the following links to other videos which I think are critical to know when dealing with the day-to-day -day operation and troubleshooting of CATV signals. I strongly advise you look at the films. Take care and see you in the field. This is EJ, signing off.